Hi, welcome to the iPhone Chef. I'm Tammy Cornett, and tonight we're going to talk a little bit about rosemary. We're going to do a few different things with rosemary, but the first thing we're going to do is take a good look at it. This is some rosemary I picked earlier today. What you want to do with our first project, which is shrimp skewers, is just grab a hold about right here, work this down, pull all of those off. Oh, that does just a real nice job. Now, this rosemary here, the reason I've got so much cooking is because we're going to use it all. I'm going to cut this at an angle so i got a little sharp end. And now I'm going to soak these for the day. Just like you do any skewers you're going to use before you put them on the grill. Let them soak in water for at least one or two hours. I'll let these soak all day. These right here have been in the sink. They're real good and moist. Now I'm going to take my favorite mixture for skewers. I'm going to do an onion. I'm going to do one of these jumbo shrimps from Charlie's. We're inland here, so it's really nice to have a good fishmonger who takes good care of you and keeps you in with some great fish, fresh. He flies it in every day. I'm going to layer it out with some mushrooms, and I'm going to end it right here with an onion. Now I'm going to do a couple of these. I like to use the onion on the end because that keeps the shrimp from falling off. I'm going to put my other shrimp on, and it seems to work real well if you grab the top and the bottom when you're putting them on the skewer and then they don't have so much of a tendency to fall off. Oh, now rosemary, our kitchen smells absolutely fantastic right now. We've got lots of good things cooking up. Too bad you can't smell it, but I'm going to show you everything we've cooked today with all the extra rosemary that I pulled off. Now I'm going to end this with a little onion slice. Take a little salt and pepper here and just put a little bit on just to give a little season. You can use whatever seasons you like. Now I'm going to take these out and put these on the grill. Now earlier today I went ahead and grilled a few up just a few minutes ago. I just pulled these off the grill. Take a good look. Oh, they just look absolutely fantastic. I'm going to pair those tonight with a little wine from Elk Creek, a little Riesling. Always seems to go real well with the seafood. Now this extra rosemary that I had today, I made up a few different things. Rosemary for me is one of those things that's kind of hard to use. I made a little rosemary bread, braided it up real pretty. Rosemary potatoes roasted in the oven. This is a little rosemary eggplant. Just eggplant, little olive oil, the eggplant. <laughs> the rosemary gives it a real nice flavor. Roasted both of those in the oven just for 30 minutes. I made a little dressing with just some lemon juice, some olive oil, a little white wine vinegar, and a little rosemary, and let it sit all day. And now the one thing I wasn't real sure about was dessert. Now how on earth could you use rosemary in a dessert? I took a regular shortbread recipe, added a little chopped rosemary real fine and some pine nuts, and we'll give it a try. Well, it's really pretty good. I'm Tammy Cornett. I'm the iPhone chef. I'm Kentucky Proud. We'll see you next week.